Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been invited back to local all-ages venue Eagle Airy Hall on Pacific Avenue in Old Town Henderson. Known for shows with lots of bands on the bill, this unassuming fraternal order of Eagles meeting hall is transformed into a house party in someone's basement many times a month. This time, the party was being thrown by Steven Goldberg's JK Productions and featured multiple bands from multiple musical genres, including recent Room 6 interview guests and the people that invited me, Paper Dad. So bring the kids, folks, and let's all... Hang on. What are you guys doing here? Who is this? Uh, uh, the, well, I thought this was yours. This was a practice. You guys told me. No. Wait, you're Josh from Room 6, aren't you? That's what that says. Nice. You want to do an interview since we're here? Sure. Got the camera set up. Sweet. Let's do it. Hello. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Puzzle Master. We'll hear more about them in a bit, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Kicking things off first was Maybe You're Right. They'll be on the channel soon, and if you'd like to be featured on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using the Room 6 email address or click the social media link down in the description. That's also where you'll find all the places I'm online, and if you feel like supporting the channel, there's ways to do that down there as well. Thanks! This four-piece band specializes in creating an emo and pop-punk fusion, full of influences by bands like Blink-182, All Time Low, and American Rejects, and more. Immediately creating a crowd, their set was high energy and full of emotions, especially when they flipped the script and sat down on stage for an a cappella performance of a song, Sit-In Style. It was a great reminder to focus on the music, and a great way to start the night. Due to the Sun Dogs having to drop out, the rapper PhD was up next. Standing out in a show full of rock bands, PhD's lyrical flow bounced from slow and poignant to rapid fire and inspirational. Rapping over trap tracks, he managed to deliver his message while keeping the crowd hyped. With a good use of dynamics, he set the stage perfectly for the next act of the night. That would be Rose Drop, a band known for straight ahead melodic rock. With music driven forward by bass lines and a great rhythm section, this band knows how to work a crowd and make catchy yet meaningful music keeping everyone in a chill mood and maintaining a mellow vibe, their set of music was a nice moment for everyone to collect themselves before things got cranked back up. Visiting Vegas from California, Easy Sleeper was next. Ramping things up with their own brand of party rock infused with indie rock elements, this LA-based band seemed hell-bent on putting a smile on everyone's face. I always love watching bands on tour perform because they leave everything they've got on the stage. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. If you're like me, you enjoy the occasional brain stretch as a break from the mundane of everyday life or a way to undo the damage that social media can do to the old gray matter. <laughs> the other reason I enjoy puzzles is because I have a history of Alzheimer's in my family and I'd really like to avoid that particular problem. Puzzles provide exercise in memory and have been shown to improve short-term memory. Fortunately, Puzzle Master is here to help. Puzzle Master carries a large selection of brain teasers made from wood, wire, metal, plastic, paper, and foam. In addition to these, they carry boomerangs, chess, board games, and much more. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off any order by entering the coupon code 10 dash off. That's 10 hyphen off at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping the channel. Thanks to Puzzle Master for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. With their interview on Room 6 airing on the same day and performing their first official gig, Paper Dad hit the stage next. In their own words, this group of fun-loving guys specialize in Vegas-based Midwest emo, or as I like to call it, corn-fed emo. The only band to bring a backdrop this quartet also specialized in songs full of suspenseful music breaks and memory-evoking vocals, and they had the crowd singing along at the top of their lungs. One of the highlights of the night, they even managed to have the iconic flashlight moment with the audience. What a great night for their first official time on stage, and a great night in general. Finishing out the night were fellow Room 6 alumni, Dantes. Blending a little bit of all things rock from melodic to hard, 
Their sound seemed designed to create atmospheric vibes while making everyone's head bang. Like many of the people both on and off the stage that night, they dressed up and their costumes only made their set better. Everyone loved them and they were a perfect way to finish off a great night of music. Overall, this JK Productions show at Eagle Area Hall went off like clockwork. Shout out to Tony the Sound Guy, who also sings for the local band Aspen. Hopefully, I'll be getting them on the channel soon. Everyone associated with this show did a great job, and I'm so glad Paper Dad invited me to check out the show. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you will swing by Eagles Area Hall if you're in the area of Pacific Avenue in Old Town Henderson. But more importantly, I hope that you'll check the social media handles down in the description for all the acts mentioned in this video. And, uh, oh yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there. You know the drill. Ring the bell. Uh, and I'd love you. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.